it's a whole body experience. Like you are seriously getting immersed in something. In the early days uh, of my drone exploration, um, part of it was fear and overcoming it. The first big one I did was in Beverly Hills in Sydney. It's called Sin City. And it was big and you'd get in there and you'd be with your friends and you didn't even bring a torch, you just drag your hand along the wall and hope that you didn't fall off anything. And, and that was a kind of a teenage sort of rush. <laughs> and I just guess I never grew up. <laughs> More and more, I think I think about it. It's like a drug because the first time you do it, it's almost you can never replace that, that peak the first time you do it. It's about escapism. When I was little and, and I wanted to get away from everything, I, for me, going to the backyard was far away enough. Now going to the backyard doesn't work for me. Going underground um, is where I can I can escape. And for each person, it's escaping something different. You have like several senses, so you can. You can cut off all these sensors that you don't need down a drain and you can dedicate like all your all your brain power to, to talking to someone. So you can have like the best conversation to walking down a drain with someone because because there's nothing else for your brain to do. You get to see a lot of things that you normally wouldn't see. And it's sort of it brings you in line with a lot of other people that you'd never thought you'd you'd be on a on a level with. It it feels like it's my home almost. Um and you go to you go to another country and people show you their home. Yes, they show you their underground. Um, and it, it's 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 different because it's it's not really your home and you don't know you haven't had experiences in there. I guess this sort of subculture is characterized by uh, an irreverence for sort of artificial barriers that are placed between you and things you want to know. Um, that's sort of really I think underpins it. It's, it's all really curiosity driven I think. There's a little bit of boyhood testosterone in there as well, you know. It's good to get scared for a while and then get out of a scary situation and go, I'm, good. I'm really glad I'm out of that. You're in a group that comprises people from almost every possible corner of society. Like you have, you meet people that you'd never think you would have sort of met before because you didn't have a common sort of denominator to talk about. Whereas now you do. Like you, you have people that are doctors that explore and you have people that are like heroin addicts that explore. So you have the two totally opposite ends and they start to chat at the clannies about drains. So it's, it's just bizarre. Like you have, it's, it's probably the only thing I know of that can join people like that. Probably the best team events that I've ever been involved in have to, have to be in the cave plan, like pulling huge manholes out of the ground, smashing them to pieces over like a number of days, working all through the night with sledgehammers to try and get into things. You get all these people coming together and suddenly we can, we can achieve something as a, as a group that you would have never been able to do before. Uh, you want to get to the end of your life and say, I've had a fucking good time doing all of this stuff. Uh, and I know a lot of weird things about some of the infrastructure that holds the city together. And at the end, okay, I probably won't have you know, all the nice stuff like the house and the like, superannuation and all that stuff, but um, I think it's more important to live your life rather than kind of live this other life in order to live a life when you're 60 and 70 and too old to really enjoy it. I'm sure I'll be doing it, maybe not as often, but probably forever. Um, maybe not on the same level, but I'm sure that if I travel overseas or travel anywhere, I'll be sure to jump on the net and try and hook up with some people that explore in other parts of the world, wherever I go. So I'll be doing that forever. Yeah, I'm not going to stop.